Peggy 16. Hi, I'm Brenda Romero, game director of Empire of Sin. We are shading things up in Chicago, and how you play the game is about to completely change. First up, the Precinct update, which is completely free for all players. We put our heart and soul into this update to make you really feel like you own your turf. Every neighborhood is split into precincts, controlled by you or another faction. As you gain new territory, your faction colors are painted across the map. At the center of each precinct is a depot, a heavily guarded control building that offers two ways to take it out. Going straight for the depot calls on reinforcements from surrounding rackets, giving you a longer, more tactical fight. Or you can divide and conquer by attacking the precinct's rackets first and immobilizing the backup. Claim the depot and you claim the precinct. The precinct update gives your decisions more weight and streamlines the economic controls. You'll have a clearer overview of your empire and what it takes to maintain and improve on it. <laughs> Supply lines connect your precincts and are critical to the survival of your empire. So it's important to keep them in mind when planning what precincts to take next. You can use strategy to cut enemy expansion routes because the only way around them is through them. But an improved AI will be hell-bent on doing the same to you. So be sure to protect the heart of your empire by buffing up security on bordering precincts. Riots of blood? Well, they're not the only outcome. Diplomacy holds more weight than ever before, and the buyout win condition eliminates factions by giving them a choice. Money or the morgue. Or you can become the Chai Town Mogul and own the lion's share of prime rackets as another way to claim victory. Keep a close eye on the cops with the police activity number. It's a precinct-wide value that rises with every criminal act and falls through bribery, good diplomacy, and select precinct improvements. The lower the number, the lower the chance of police raids. But with every new racket, the harder it becomes for the cops to turn a blind eye. Wait till you see what's coming in our paid content. Make It Count is the biggest and boldest DLC that Empire of Sin has seen. Starting with a new boss, Maxim Zelnik, who cooks the books and the bodies. The mob's fixer, Maxim Zelnik, has a talent for making people get along. But if they don't, his boss right, ability, boys. Bolster the Ranks, ensures two bodyguards are on hand to even the odds in combat. He's also got a whole new way for you to make money. Loan Sharking opens the door on a new racket that doesn't need booze to function, but with their own unique events, they are bound to keep you busy. The Fixers arrive just in time to help with new missions and events and new ways to get out of things. With booby traps, caltrops, and the ability to bribe their way out of certain combats, it's not a moment too soon. And that's not all. For good measure, we've added a city full of brand new items, interiors, weapons, and NPCs for you to find. Plus, all new boss reveals and heaps of different building improvements to fortify your empire and make it better and stronger. Looks like you've got some work to do, Kingpin. Just remember one thing. If you're gonna sin, make it count.